taxation public hearing for fiscal year 23-24. If you'd like to comment on a public hearing today, we're accepting comments in person and online on Zoom. The council has been informed of accommodation requests during public comment tonight and welcomes comments from all constituents. If you need to speak to our staff, please select London Kelly from the list of participants. If you need to, you can also raise your hand in Zoom to indicate that you need something from the host. Taylor Hill on our staff will be calling all those who wish to comment based on the order we receive your names. If you're on Zoom, please unmute your mic when Taylor calls your name. Uh, before we begin taking comments, I will turn the time over to Ben Lutke, Council Staff Policy Analyst, to give a short introduction. And Ben, in my notes it said 2324, but we're talking about 2425. Correct. Thank you. This public hearing is the final step in the Council's process outlined in state law. It is commonly referred to as truth in taxation. It is required by law for this fiscal year, fiscal year 2025, because the city budget adopted by the council back in June included a property tax stabilization and a judgment levy. A judgment levy is technically a one-time, one-year property tax increase. Additionally, the library budget also adopted back in June includes a general ongoing property tax increase of $5.3 million. Public hearings on those budgets were held back on May 21st and June 4th of this year. That was prior to the council's adoption vote on June 11th. This today is a separate public hearing required by state law and is subject to and is specific to the property tax revenue proposed to be received by the city and the library. For general information, city departments were discussed in detail at each of the council's work sessions in May and June. Recordings of those discussions are available on YouTube and the council's website, as are staff reports for each of the departments and funds. The council's budget hub can be found at tinyurl.com forward slash SLCFY25. At the conclusion of the public hearing, the council has the option of adopting the property tax rates for both the city and library as advertised, or it could elect to adopt a rate less but not greater than the rates as advertised. If, uh, if the council adopts a lesser rate, then the council would need to rebalance the budget so that the revenues are balanced with the expenditures because state law requires cities to adopt a balanced budget each fiscal year. Those motions are on the motion sheet. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. Taylor, please call the first commenter. Thank you, Madam Chair. So far we have one person registered to speak and that will be Dennis Fan, who is here in person. <laughs> Good evening. My comments are directed about the public utilities stabilization fee. So my water bill has been the same for 18 of the last 20 months within $3. I have done, I've ripped the strip, I've slowed the flow, I can't do anything less. And this is actually an insult to me and a rebuke that I did those things because that fee represents a 40% increase in my bill. And if I use no water whatsoever, my bill is $26. So you need to reconsider that stabilization fee. That is not just, it's actually punishing those that have been working to conserve water. Thank you. Thank you. That was um, the only registered commentary. Thank you, Taylor. I'll look for a motion. Okay, I'll do it. It's the one that's... I'm Madam Chair. Thank you. <laughs> I move that the council close the public hearing and adopt an ordinance establishing the final rate of tax levy, including the final levy for the library fund upon all real and personal property within Salt Lake City made taxable by law for fiscal year 2024 through 2025 and ratified the budget as adopted by the council in June. Second. I have a motion from Council Member Mono, a second from Council Member Dugan. Any discussion on this? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? 
It passes unanimously with Pui absent. Uh, this concludes our limited formal city council meeting and we now stand adjourned.